thanks so much for being here. I'm Kat and I make houseplant videos here on Good and Planty. <sighs> okay, so today is going to be a little bit more casual. I'm not doing anything informational because my life has been crazy. Basically today we are going to be doing a little mini nursery tour slash plant haul but I have to give you a little backstory here because if you read the title of the video you see that this plant tour haul is from Virginia and if you don't know I live in Philly I'm not one of those people currently traveling during COVID so what's going on well let's rewind a little bit if you don't know I have a dog named Meek I'll put cute little pictures of him right there he's the star of all of my outros. We got him about a month and a half ago and of course he tore his ACL literally like two weeks into us having him at the dog park we think and if you don't know anything about ACL surgery it is really expensive and if you don't know me I am not rich. We are not monetized yet so we were in a bit of a pickle if you will because we love him and we obviously want to take good care of him so we did our research and we actually found an affordable place in virginia which was recommended to us and we felt comfortable doing but it is a four and a half hour drive from here to virginia <coughs> so we took meek into the little car and we drove him to his surgery but then we had about 12 hours to kill in richmond virginia what else am I going to do when I'm stressed and stranded? I'm going to plant shop. So I did a quick little search and I found a greenhouse. I think it was called Great Big Greenhouse or something. Um, I did go to Sneed's Nursery first because it seemed more local, but they had a lot of outdoor plants and that's just not what I was looking for. So I went to this nursery and I took some footage. I thought it was set up pretty nicely. They had a, quite a bit of variety and everything was priced pretty reasonably. And I also liked how they had the whole nursery set up. Every table was... Um, a genus or species. It was really well organized, it looked really nice, and they even had some care tips on each table. So overall I had a pretty good impression of them. I started to get really carried away. I was picking out plants left and right because when I am stressed, all I want to do is buy plants. And again, ACL surgery is not cheap. Even the cheapest ACL surgery, not cheap. I really had to take a step back and I was in the midst of like figuring out what plants I could actually buy when they called me and at that point it was only 11 a.m. so it had been three hours out of the 12 hours they told me to wait and they told me that he was done with his surgery so in that moment I just wanted to get back to Meek but I obviously had all of these really cool cheap plants in my hands so I just grabbed a couple plants, checked out, and I got my little doggy poo back. And guys, trying to recover a 80 pound pit bull lab mix from ACL surgery is a nightmare. So my life has been kind of crazy with that. Luckily he's an angel, I love him so much, and he's been sleeping and he's been such a good boy, but it is really stressful, I won't lie to you guys. Um, and if you've ever had a dog or a pet go through ACL surgery, you kind of know there's someone in my backyard. Okay, anyway, so I got some footage of me in the nursery, but I was really nervous to film in there and be talking to myself, which I don't know how people do it, but I can't. So I have some patchy footage I'll try to put in um, for a mini nursery tour. And yeah, I'll plug that in now. So enjoy, sit back, and I will see you afterwards with the place that I actually got.
Okay, so let's talk about what I actually purchased. I had way too many to pick from. I really wanted to get the Rapidafros Tetrasperma, but I didn't because it was $30 and ACL surgery is expensive. I have three plants. It's moderately exciting. Some of them I think are cool. They were all really affordable. I got these three plants for $11. Okay, I'll probably, I'll start with the least exciting one to build some suspense. Um, I got a, God, what is it called? I got this, Schifflera arboricola. Um, it wasn't, it's not the variegated version uh, because that one was slightly bigger and more expensive. So I actually got this for $3. I got this one for $3. I still have to wash it off a little bit. It has the hard mineral stains, but um, I went, the surgery was on Wednesday and today is Saturday. So I've only had it for a couple days. I wanted to acclimate first, but I got this plant. It was $3 and it's really full for like one of those mini, they call them pixie foliage. So I was really happy with this. I had a giant variegated one, but it had pests, I had it, I got it from Home Depot and I was really bummed that I had to throw it out. So now I have a mini one. Okay, so next up we have, dun, 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 dun. we got a maranta or um, a prayer plant. So I've been kind of wanting these. This isn't on my official wish list, but it was, it was $3 again. And there's like a lot of growth happening here. Um, and it looks pretty healthy to me. Like I didn't have to cut anything off. There's really no crisping. So, and there's, and there's new growth points. So I'm really happy with this plant. It was kind of one of those things where I low key wanted it, but I wasn't gonna go out of my way to get it. And usually when I see them, they're in, you know, pretty decent pot sizes for a couple bucks. So I was pretty happy to find this for $3 and kind of get it off my secondary mental wish list and again acclimating pretty well I have a growth point right here and a growth point right there and I think I'm gonna when I repot it I might propagate some so I can get more growth and fullness and less one leggy thing if that makes sense if you want to see that let me know and my last plant this is a snappy haul but it is what it is this one's probably my favorite because, again, this is one that was on like the mental wish list, but not like the expensive real wish list. You know, there's there's multiple wish lists. So I got a lemon lime philodendron. I'm super super happy with her. This one was five bucks, and you can see I'll take it out of the the cover pot. You know, decent size here. I was really happy with it. There's multiple growth points. The one thing that I thought was really weird is there's like very, very little soil in here. So I thought that was a little strange. I'm gonna take a better look at it. Like, you know, I'm probably gonna give these plants two weeks to acclimate and then I'll consider repotting them, see how they do. Uh, but I was really super happy with it. I love the coloration on these leaves. I just love vining philodendron in general. These leaves are pretty big. The, the new growth is coming in a little small, but I might give it a pull. I might just let it hang. I don't know. I have the micans on a pole, so I might just let this one hang. I don't know. All right. Okay, so that's it for today's video. Thanks for hanging out. Um, in case you're curious, Meek is doing a lot better. He is eating normally. The walks are hell. Shout out to my amazing, super strong boyfriend, Jonah, for carrying him up and down the stairs. But it's okay, because he's getting better. Um, he's just a heavy, sleepy boy, and that's pretty much it. So thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff that helps me grow my channel. So I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye!